Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Gene. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasting. Gene, today we're going to do ourselves a, a, a whiskey that's unique to us. Unique Gene, This is our first 100% whiskey. Is it now? 100%. I thought that was 100 weeded whiskey, that is. I think we've had another 100% weeded whiskey, haven't uh -huh. we? Well, since I just said we haven't. It's a bit of a tongue twister. 100%, well, none of us. This is 100% weeded whiskey. This is a three-year-old okay. half-strength weeded whiskey from Dry Fly. Dry uh, Fly. Dry Fly. Uh, this one has been sitting in the boxes for a long time. Like, for a long time. Well over a year. Probably. Yeah. So this, they uh, pride themselves on a uh, farm to bottle distillery. We did cast strength from Dry Fly. Uh, it's a straight, so we know, well, they, they aged it. There was just th three years minimum. But straight, you know it's gonna be at least at least two. Spit it out, man. <laughs> Interesting. So, well, anyway, we've had a, tons of hundred percent wheats. Yes. Well, I apologize. I have no idea what you're saying. I'm sitting there going through my roll decks of whiskeys. I'm like that, 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 that. Yes, we've had tons. Never mind. Had, I think we've had a few. We've you had a lot. Edit that out, probably. No, why? I'm gonna own my mistakes. I'm gonna own, own my it. errors. Okay. I'm gonna well, own my errors. I'm getting some black licorice. I get uh, that Denny's wheat toast cut in triangles with the butter already put on it. There is a, a, a cracked pepper trisket. Boom! Love that note. That is a precise note. Good job. That's what it is. Yes. And I love that's what That's my favorite trisket. Oh, that's what she said. I'm kicking boxes down here. I wonder what you're kicking. Yeah, I'm kicking boxes. We're well, we also have a barrel underneath there too. I thought you're kicking the barrel. No, we have a 53 gallon barrel, which these are Asian boxes. 53 gallon barrels. We're still working on the bar, obviously. Um, one of these days, we're gonna get the whiskey off of the floor, up on the bar. <clears throat> did you say black licorice? I did. This is a black licorice bomb. Now that's mm -hmm. opened up for a minute. Yes, yes, by, I'm gonna I'm call right now by the time Either Super Bowl and or sometime between Super Bowl and March Madness, the, the bar will be done. There's a sweetness to this too. There's like a blackberry, a sweetness of a blackberry with with the black licorice. Um, black licorice bomb, dentist office, Novocaine. Uh, I don't get that. I don't know what you say. What you're saying by that? And that's the black licorice. Well, when I was a kid, you walk into dentist office, you knew you were in a dentist office because that certain smell. They, they don't have that smell in dentist office anymore. So I always attributed oh. that to Novocaine or perhaps the laughing gas. I don't know, but yeah, dentist office don't have the smell that they did in the, the 80s and 90s. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Have a go in, but yeah, this is a black licorice bomb. It's got a nice color, cast strength. They do have a, another version of this that's a 45% of the dry fly straight weeded whiskey. Hmm. Did you say the ABV of this? 60, 100 proof or 120 proof. But I do like that they put the age right there in three years. Okay. Yeah. This is a heavily buttered piece of wheat toast, toasted perfectly. Um, perhaps a slice of, uh, like a mar maraschino of cherry sliced on top, on top of that heavily buttered wheat or toast. Mm -hmm. If you like good and plenty, you will love this. If you like, um, uh, what's that uh, liqueur everybody drinks and they, uh, they have hallucinations? Absinthe, do you like absinthe? You'll love this. This is a I black licorice. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Not the American version, but the Europe version. Oh, okay. to it. This is a, a black licorice bomb. Yeah. Good and plenty. Black licorice. Mm -hmm. uh, your toast is there. Your butter is there. Your honey is there. Uh, anise is there. Not Aunt E, but Anise. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Feels older. Blind, I'm thinking this is seven or eight years old. I get a lot of butter. A lot of butter. A lot of butter. It's a butter bomb. Second or third sip now, it's actually more butter than it is black licorice. This is changing on me, and I like it when a whiskey changes sip by sip. So this is actually a whiskey I tried for the first time at a local bar. Oh, okay. Uh, it's called Whiskey Dicks. Shout out to oh, Whiskey yeah. Dicks. Um, they have, I don't know how many different whiskeys on their menu here in where we live. We talked to the owner, he said 500, I think. He said 500. I don't know. Oh, no, he said six. They're expanding to eight. That's so right. this was on their menu. It's not terribly priced for going to a bar and buying something on, on the whiskey menu. Um, so that's where I tasted this, this the first time. 
So then I went hunting it and I bought it and it's been sitting in our on our uh, to review long list of things to review for a, a long time. Anyway. Good story, Gene. That's my story. Stick to it. Don't Stick change it. it. I want to say the owner's name is Bill, so shout out to Bill. We exchanged cards, but I don't have my wallet on me or his card. Water didn't really, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a third drop of water. I'm going to put two in there the first time. It is a 60 ABV. Oh, that's a good point. That is a huge drop. This is easy on the drinkability scale. Some 60s like an ECBP or a well or full proof, some high proof wheats. Oh, uh, yes, there's no wheat ECBP. But anyway, hard to drink. This is easy to drink. For a drop of water did to me is you chop up a bunch of vegetables, you put it into a pan, and you're going to saute them. Now. This is, That's the smell that I'm getting now. Oh, vegetable. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. 100% right. It does have a vegetal note. Yes. Sometimes I get notes, but don't think the same out loud until you articulate them. And I'm like, yes, mm. I agree. Mmm, peppers are nice. See, I'm digging it. You say that, but I'm not seeing a dance. Boom! Um, this is just unique enough and tasty enough and hit me in all, in all the right ways and spots. Hey, look, I got an orange marker suddenly. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't know what you're gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do, Gene? That's the goodness about it. I'm gonna give this a three-year-old weeded 90. I went with an 89. Boom, I think it crosses, it is savory enough. Um, it crosses that 90 spot. It's savory, it's flavorful, coat to mouth. Long finish, long sweet finish. Like, uh, you're not gonna satisfy a sweet tooth, but you're gonna get darn close. It's not a dessert drink, but it, it's dang tasty. Gene? So, Dry Fly has a lot of different ones out there. Yeah. This isn't just, you know, the only one. I'd never heard of it before we went to that bar, but yeah. Um, well, this, this is up in the uh, the north west part of the country, so. Would you like to know how much this was? Love it, love it. I'm, I think you're going to say $64. What are you going to say? Oh, i got to find it. <laughs> you're way off. What'd you pay for? $38. Oh, hell yes. $38. Hell yeah. Cast rate, $38. $38. Forget the three-year-old age statement, and thank you for picking the three-year-old age statement. Pick this well, up. Well, it was $38 when we bought it uh, back in the, I don't know what year that was, but. Yeah, you know what we need to do? What? We need to do a, a weeded shootout. So we get our Wellers, we get our um, uh, Larceny, we get our Dry Fly, we put them all. Is Larceny 100% wheat? Larson is a weeded mash bill. Oh, all of the weeded, not 100% weeded. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, anyway, yeah, 38 bucks. Yeah, I like it. Good job. Good job shopping. Good job. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be big. Everybody's gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, Jean. No, I'm not. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are.